excellent women welcome back to the channel i'm yanka the excellent wife and mom and today i'm going to talk about raising entrepreneurs on um uh not youtube <laughs> on uh instagram i you know told about how my son uh started an official business um last week and so you know he did the research for it and um you guys you know asked some questions like you know how did it that happened so this I'm gonna explain that a little bit um, he you know he's been very entrepreneurial you know all his little life you know I was um, looking for ways to make money and help people and he always had these grand ideas and you know he wanted to do a raking business he wanted to do this and that but um, when with this latest one you know he he and his father sat down and you know they wrote out a business plan and um then they met with a banker um we could have you know easily find some that but the part the important thing was to take him through the process so you know he presented his um idea to the banker and the banker gave him a loan but of course he's partnering with my husband okay so he's not just getting on his own but he's still an official owner of this business and so from there they met with um the suppliers and he went, met with ceo of the supplying company that he's going to work with and you know he met with the lawyer to sign the legal paperwork and stuff and so now he has a formal llc and all of that so that's kind of where he is in the process um he has his uh everything is together in a file so he has a file folder keep everything together so he'll know you know this is what I need to do next. This is the next thing. And so he's responsible for his part of this business. He actually has a lot of responsibility, but you know, he, it's doable and he can do it. And of course, his father's gonna work with him. I'm there if he, you know, needs help. But, um, you know, you guys were asking about resources and, you know, I thought about him like, you know, um, we are an entrepreneurial fam family. And so when I thought, I was like, well, what we did was we brought the, we have four kids. So they're uh, four, six, eight, and nine. And we just brought them along for everything. Like every part, they've seen every part of the businesses that we, we were in or have done. And so, you know, they've been to closings, they've been to meetings, they've been to, um, to you know, check out investment properties. They've been through renovations and even help, even when they were little, you know, give them a little hammer, you hit too, you know. So, you know, just letting them be a part, it's like something they grew up in. So, you know, they see that this is a normal thing for them. And so we also gave them the opportunity to meet people, you know, um, other entrepreneurs and um, professionals. And so they, you know, they get to sit down and talk. We've gone, gone to dinner with many different people. So they sit there and I love that people engage them. They're highly intelligent children. I think all kids are highly intelligent. And so they sit there, you know, carry on the conversation, but they get to listen too. like if we're speaking to other business owners and things. So they're picking their the kids, are, their little minds are like uh, sponges. So they're picking these things up. It is not lost in their, their um, ears. And I know, you know, one time I went to dinner with um, this um, entrepreneur and uh, his wife and we were just sitting there talking and he was talking and I just loved it he was really engaged with the boys he sat there and he talked to them they were just you know talking business and he's like you know um when you guys get a little bit older he said you come y'all come work for me you know and so you know just so you can learn and understand the process but you guys are so smart and I would love to have you so I think that's that's important he was just talking about how he got into business and how he got his start and that's what I love because they get to sit around other business owners and they understand that this isn't just something that just occurred, but these people actually worked to get to where they are today. They um, learn and they understand that, you know, it took a, these people set goals. They um, it took hard work to get to where they, they wanted to be. And, you know, they, they worked and they grinded and they accomplished goal after goal after goal. And so I just think that's invaluable. And then, you know, they're meeting, you know, the different circles that we're in. They get to sit down and you, it's a whole bunch of people at the country club who own different businesses. You have different types of lawyers in there and just um, 
even doctors, just, you know, everybody, um, accountants, so everybody you need in the business process, they're there and they get to sit down and, I mean, they, you know, play with their kids, of course, but they get to interact and they're listening and hearing things. And then, you know, we, um, at the airport, have a lot of different business owners there. And um, one time my husband and I met this couple there and they had a bigger, they had a nice airplane. We like, we're into airplanes, we love them. But they had this nice airplane. And so, you know, we just started talking to them. They came, get, you know, let us tour. They gave us a nice tour of the airplane and we were just looking at everything, you know, loved our avionics and all of that. And so, you know, we just got to talking and then we invited them to come to dinner with us. And then, you know, they sat there and they heard the entire conversation and they're interacting with these people. You know, they've been all these different places and they, um, talking about how they make the business work they live here but um, they have a business in another city so one, the, the wife is flying the husband flies the wife to work and back and so you know you just that expands your mind you know the, okay this is a normal thing people do this so I think that's highly I think you know you just sit and talk to people and you find out um, their story that's that's what I'm really into people's story how did you get from this point to this point and they got to hear the story about um, this man you know when he grew he grew up in a small town and they really didn't have anything his one of his parents shot the other and so that parent went to jail and them was dead and so they grew up in this little trailer in this town and you know they, they didn't have much but that didn't stop him. It didn't even handicap him. And you know, it gave him a drive. So he went from dirt poor to building a multi-million dollar company. And then he came back to his town and he owns the biggest house in that town. <laughs> but you know, you, you see that, you know, this is somebody who didn't, they had to scrap, scrape to get by and they didn't have a silver platter and hand it to them or a silver spoon in their mouths, you know? And so I think that's important for kids to be able to interact and meet people like this. So ladies, I'm sure you have successful friends. I don't care what it is. If you see that your, your child have an interest in it or anything that you have a friend that does that, you know, take them to meet them. And even if you don't know anybody, you can meet them. So, um, you know, give them those opportunities. And I think one of the best things that we did was when they were um, little. And I mean, I had, a, I think at that time, they might've been five, four, two in baby, or six, five, three, and one. But anyway, they were small, smaller. And we did eliminate standing. We did that for a couple of years. But that, you know, that taught them, because we would do it one month in the summer. So Monday through Friday, they would do a lemonade stand. We'll set the time. It was a few, you know a few hours, and so and you know we got to they got to plan for it. You know and they collect bottles. That's what we did. We went and we went to the high school, went under bleachers and you know picking up bottles because they had to think about a way. How can we get money to get this thing started? And then their father is like, okay, I'm going to give you a loan, but you have to pay me back um, with interest. And so that's what, you know, those are processes they understand. Okay, what's interest? What is that? So we, you know, we worked that all out before we got started. And we knew exactly, they knew exactly, okay, I would need this and this and this. And this is how many bottles I need to be able to buy the ingredients. And so we went through that whole little process. And so every day, you know, they're selling this, this lemonade. And then we added, um, brownie bites and so they got to see you know one we bought this little box of brownies um at the stores like 99 cent but you had i think about i don't know 30 40 brownie bites and then those are 25 cents and so you know one little box of brownies that cost me 99 cent i can make five dollars off of this so you know these are important things for kids to learn and they see like oh, wow you know I, I really made something off of this and then they get begin to look at other things as valuable like those bottles oh people just throwing these out this is five cents i get a bunch of five cents this adds up i can get 20 of these and this will be um a dollar or whatever you know so you know those little lessons you know seeing things seeing value where no one else uh, sees that and then you know they're out there and i let them do the process I just sat back on the porch and then they get to interact with people and they're learning customer service and interacting. And then they're, um, so they did a whole plan of things. They're interacting with people, math on the spot. So if you give me $10, I need to, and you ask for um, 
this lemonade, which is 50 cents, and this is seven, that's 75 cents, so I need to give you back that much. And so this is being done on the spot. So this is all learning. This is real life experience. And that's why we unschool, because I don't think you can compartmentalize, you know, because there's a lot going on in this process here. I can extract those things and say, okay, he learned this or she learned this and this and this today. They did this and this and this. So that's the importance, you know. And so they, you know, I know the first time we did Lemonade Stand, they made all their, so they, the, 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 everything that um, they had to pay back in interest, they paid that off in like one day. It was done, you know. And then they understood, you know, profit. And then we have to set some aside because we're going to sell more. So it motivated them to even want to do more. And like, oh boy, you know, at the end of this week, I made $50, you know. And then, okay, I want, I set goals. Okay, I want to make this much. So that means I need to make this much more. And so they did very well. And people, they actually made, we made really good lemonade because there were other kids in the neighborhood. They did it like once. And I noticed that. Um, and they'll, you know, sell something once and they were done. And then they were using that canned stuff from the store. But we actually use real lemon juice. We use uh, strawberry because we make strawberry lemonade. So real strawberries and people taste like, oh, this is really good. So they would come back. And I just love that. Um, my husband, you know, he's, he would stop in because he was so proud of him. And um, he showed them how to stop people to get them to come to their product. Like, hey, come back, you know. And so they got emboldened by that. And I remember my son, the nine-year-old, before he was, like I said, six or five. And um, this, I think this lady or this couple came by. And, you know, he, he they were talking to him and stuff. And so um, he told the couple, he said, okay. He said, bring everybody. He said, bring some more people back. Bring everybody, you know. And sure enough. They came back um, a little, you know, a couple minutes later and they had like 12 people with them. And so, <laughs> and they just like, we sold out like every day, every single day. So we were running to the, you know, the store and ordering more, more supplies. So the lemonade stand is a wonderful way to teach business concepts. So, so I highly recommend that. And then there's, um, I'm just going to give you some resources speaking of lemonade so you guys ask there's lemonade day and that was started back in 2007 and what happens is in 60 cities probably even more throughout the u.s they do this lemonade day so they um kids go through a 14 step process to prepare for the big day and then they sell lemonade on that day and so i didn't you know didn't know anything about this when i started i just we just went with it you know and so that's how you know we really got going with this thing and so ever since then like when COVID came we didn't do it but people were asking about it. I mean we even got we were at the country club and a, a couple of weeks ago and the guy was like I really miss your lemonade and those brownie bites you know <laughs> I didn't even recognize the guy but apparently you know this is really good because he came and was talking to the kids about it and so other organizations there's whole kids foundation and that's through whole foods so you can I'll link put the links um in here so you can uh click on them and see what that's about. Um, there's Junior Achievement. And so they have an entrepreneurial, but I think it's real basic because I was looking through it. But you know, you're dealing with kids and they're little and they need to understand basic concepts. And um, Mark Cuban, you know, the owner of the Mavericks, he, he was a, um, in Junior Achievement. I think I saw a few more names, famous names that were part of Junior Achievement. And then of course there's Girl Scouts who, you know, with the cookie sales. So they learn, you know, how to sell and different business concepts with that as well. Um, and then, of course, there's the Small Business um, Administration. So there's a, you know, that's a great resource and they have a score program where you can even go meet with a counselor if your kid have a great idea. You know, you can take it to them and run it, you know, by them. They kind of help you out. So that's a great resource. And don't be afraid because your kid is little. You know, kids have great ideas. I am a firm believer that all children are brilliant. I really believe that. I've worked with kids and I just think they're all brilliant. Um, and then there's a couple of books that I had. So there's a book, I got it on um, Hoopla, Digi Hoopla Digital. And that, if you go, Hoopla is a free app and it's through your library and you can check out and download like all these different books and audio books and videos and all that. And Hoopla Digital is a great resource in my family, we love it. Um, but there's Landon's Lemonade Stand by Randy Williams. And it's a cute little story about, you know, this little boy who wanted a bike. I shouldn't tell the whole story, but, <laughs> but they did a lemonade stand and he got all the money he needed in the, cause he asked his parents. And that, that's the thing I think is so important. You know, it's parents want to give their kids, but you want to give in a way that sustains them, you know, give them the knowledge and let them run with it. You know, teach them the concepts, teach them how, you know. Um, and then there's uh, Be Fearless. 
and Dream Like a Kid, and this is by Michaela Omer. And so she's that little girl. She started a lemonade business at four, and she was making hers with um, honey. And so now she's in 15, I think over 1,500 stores, her lemonade is uh, sold. But the way that happened, her, at four years old, um, she entered into a uh, um, business contest. But, you know, she, she appeared on Shark Tank and, you know, her lemonade took off. So, and now I think she's like 17 or something, but she's been a successful business owner since she was four years old. So your kid is never yet too young. Um, there's also the little boy Mosbo's um, Mosiah Bridges. So remember, he was that little boy who he appeared on Shark Tank as well with um, the little bow ties. And so he has a great story too. So you know, get these. You know, these are kidpreneurs. You can get their books, and um, I think there are a couple of videos on YouTube uh, about these kids. So just you know, type in their names, but I'll link resources um, to that. So like I said, both of those kids, um, Michaela and. Um, Mo, they both appeared on Shark Tank, and that's one show. I know we don't watch it as much now, but we used to watch it a lot. And you know, uh, exposure kids, let them see that. You know, um, a lot of shows that we watch, that they sit and watch with us, and we watch a lot of financial stuff. You know, my husband, that's his background. He is a financial expert, so we're always constantly watching this stuff. You know, they're watching. They've been watching stock market stuff since they were babies. And you know, like I said, when we did watch Shark Tank. Um, religiously years ago they were right there with us you know and then I think a great resource is um, the, the machines the men and the food that made America on the History Channel let my kids those documentaries my kids love especially my two boys they absolutely I mean they would sit there my husband and I we would like binge watch those and they would sit there and write along with us and I just loved it they would ask questions and then you know they you can see the wheels turning and thinking about this stuff so you know let them that's a part of schooling you know um home education that's the beauty of it you don't have to be sitting there where you need to do this and this and this and this and this and this and you need no let them this is how you live your life they're picking this stuff up so be an example because they're going to model what you do. So we're learning. They ask questions. We're asking questions. We know pause if you're like, huh, you know, let me look this up. Let me think. So they're learning and all of that. Now I have a couple of um, YouTube channels that we watch or have watched that I think um, are pretty good resources of, as well. There's Cockpit, Cockpit Conversations by Daryl Freeman. And I like, you know, he, he has a, a, a an airplane and so in the cockpit he, he flies his airplane and he has people in the uh, co-pilot seat and he's having these conversations with them and a lot of them are business leaders and entrepreneurs or leaders of different organizations and I just think those are awesome I watch especially my sons especially the older one he sits there and watches all of this stuff you know whenever we're in there and they're picking up remember and they're learning that so that's a good one cockpit conversations with Daryl Freeman um, I'm going to link that as well. Um, then, of course, uh, we watched the Rich Dad channel with uh, Robert Kiyosaki. So that's another uh, good YouTube channel. Um, we like his stuff. Some stuff we have a little bit of a different opinion, but for the most part, we, we really, really like him. And then there's uh, one uh, Blippy episode. It was called Blippy's Lemonade Stand. And he uh, went through the process of, and he talked about, you know, entrepreneurship and he went through the process of setting up a um, lemonade stand. And so I thought that was really good for smaller kids. So that is another one. So ladies, I hope that this um, talk and these resources are helpful and useful to, useful to you. And thank you so much for asking about it. Um, if you have any more questions, please, please feel free to ask because I'm more than happy to share. So um, thanks for watching. Um, if you like. All right, ladies, I forgot to tell you that um, my son had $600 that he started a business with, but he took 10% um, of that and he paid his tithes. And we are big believers in paying tithes and offerings and I just think no, I know for a fact it's the way that we've been successful in our lives because of that principle. And maybe I'll talk about that at another time. But he did pay his tithes and then the rest of that money went towards that business. So he took his own money to start that as well. And 
I just want to encourage you ladies to speak life of your children and and you know bless them um, Job 22 28 says you shall decree a thing and that thing will uh, be established and the light will shine in your ways so speak life to your children um, I speak over mine every day you know I, I say and I declare over them every day you will walk with God all the days of your life you will not miss a moment of your destiny destiny and you will stand fierce against the devil and evil and I tell my children another declaration I speak whatever you put your hands to will prosper and that's including the business school or whatever so speak those things to your kids so thank you for joining me um, if this has been helpful to you do me a favor subscribe like comment and share and I greatly appreciate it God bless and I'll see you next time bye